Do you know which of the earth's creatures are among the most ancient? They have been around since the time of the dinosaurs. Let's find out more about them. Leatherback turtles are the world's largest sea turtles. They grow up to 2 meters in length and can weigh as much as 900 kilograms. These ancient creatures trace their evolutionary roots back more than 100 million years to the time of the dinosaurs. In India, the beaches of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands of nesting grounds for these unique turtles. A leatherback monitoring camp has been set up at West Bay in Little Andaman Island. By India's leading sea turtle biologist Dr. Karthik Shankar and Dr. Naveen Nambudiri along with young researchers like Adit Swaminathan. Every year between November and February the team travels to this remote island to monitor the leatherbacks to be a turtle researcher or if you want to work with turtle conservation you have to be prepared to walk long hours on the beach at night as sea turtles come ashore for nesting mostly at night leatherback turtles are very sensitive to disturbance and light so to monitor the turtles you can only use red light which is not visible to them Even for filming turtles it is essential to use infrared light. That is why you are seeing these images in black and white. Do you know how you can tell that a leatherback has been on the beach? It leaves a trail wider than that of a tractor. There is much excitement when a turtle is spotted in the darkness. The team signal each other by blinking the red torchlight and approach the turtle only after she settles down to lay the eggs. Let the back sea turtles nest at intervals of 2 to 3 years. They nest between 3 to 7 times per season. They usually nest at night. digging wide holes to lay the eggs Each nest contains an average of 80 to 100 eggs Eggs incubate for about 60 to 65 days before the hatchlings emerge A tear gel is secreted from the eyes to remove excess salt Members of the local Karen community have now been trained to monitor the nesting turtles. They help to spot and tag the turtles, measure them and count the eggs. The Karen people have become key to the research work being done here.
Once the eggs are laid, the turtles cover them skillfully, patiently and powerfully, scooping sand over the nest to cover and protect it. The nesting process takes about three hours to complete before the exhausted turtle can head back to the ocean. Leatherbacks are also one of the deepest divers among breathing marine vertebrates and dive to the depths of more than 1200 meters or 4200 feet. Their bodies are specially adapted for long and deep dives and they can remain underwater for long spells, especially while resting. Guided by the Earth's geomagnetic field, the leatherback turtles can navigate and migrate more than 10,000 kilometers across oceans, from feeding to breeding grounds. Ecologists from the Indian Institute of Science, ANET, Dakshin Foundation, and the Andaman Nicobar Forest Department work together to monitor leatherback movement and behavior. Between 2011 and 2014, 10 turtles have been tagged with satellite transmitters at West Bay. Leatherbacks are named after their tough, oil saturated, rubbery skin, which is strengthened by small bones beneath the skin. Unlike other sea turtles, leatherbacks do not have a hard bony shell. Ridges along the carapace help give it a more hydrodynamic structure. Most of the tag turtles migrated in a southeastward direction. Some travelled along the coast of Sumatra in Indonesia and others past Koko Skeeling Island, covering more than 4,000 kilometres, with one reaching the coast of Western Australia. Latest tracks show leatherbacks going southwest as well. One has reached Mozambique. Leatherbacks have the widest global distribution of all reptile species. They can be found in the tropic and temperate waters of the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans, as well as the Mediterranean Sea. Adult leatherbacks also travel as far north as Canada and Norway, and as far south as New Zealand and South America. Tucked away on these remote islands, the leatherback nesting beaches in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands are comparatively well protected. However, even these pristine islands cannot escape the inevitable human footprint. This pollution is a threat to both adult and young turtles. Once prevalent in every ocean except the Arctic and Antarctic, the leatherback population appears to be stable in many parts of the world. But some populations have declined drastically. After 65 days, the hatchlings emerge from the sand. They get their bearings and head out confidently to sea. From each brood, only a few will make it to adulthood. But for now, they're full of life. As they head out 
to start their adventurous journey into the deep. Thank you.